in this video i will be demonstrating the simple order management application that is built using spring boot and h2 in memory database so let's start so this is intellij idea and i have already uh, started the application on 8080 port so uh, first let's like uh see the api uh let's hit the api and then we will go into the code so yeah so local host 8080 so i have deployed hal explorer you can explore my rest api using uh, like going to local 8080 but let's start with creating the customers for the order management so for creating the customer we have to use uh, a v1 add even add add customer uh, username of the customer and shashank is the username so let's hit this api so uh, the user is created and we got the response in the form of json so uh, yeah username id order count and category. So I am using only these four fields in the database for simplicity. Uh, now user is created. Let's create another user. So for example, test. Yeah, so another user is also created. Uh, we can also fetch all the users by uh, all the customers by hitting this API. So customers, we have two customers and they have order count zero. Now let's create some order. So to create order, we have to hit this API. So create order, customer ID, the customer who is creating the order and amount. So again, for simplicity, I have kept only customer ID and amount. We can add more things. So let's hit. Yeah, again, we got the response in the form of JSON. So uh, like the order ID and the customer who created this order and amount. And also I'm storing the timestamp. So yeah, at what date and at what time it was ordered. And obviously by default, when a user is creating the order, it's already like completed. So it's given in the description of the problem. So yeah, we have created the order. Now coming to the um, user category part. So by default, every user is regular. Now after like 10 orders, uh, he will get, he or she will get the goals uh gold category and after 20 we'll get the premium category so let's hit this api for 10 times so two three four five six seven eight nine orders as soon as we click on 10 so we got the gold category as you can see the user got converted to gold so obviously on 20th when we hit 20 times it will convert it to platinum so after 20 orders so now we can check so we have to store the, so initially the user is paying the complete amount but we have to store the discount information how much discount the user got on which orders so yeah so i am storing it in a different table so let's hit that api as well so um uh, yeah this is the api uh discount details yeah so this is the ID of the table. So this order, this is the order and this customer has ordered this and this is the discount percentage. So user got 10% discount on this order ID. So yeah, so similarly, if we hit that API again, suppose 11th, so on 11th order also, he will get 10%. So let's again see that, um, yeah. Yeah, again, you can see there are two nows. Again, he got 10% because still he is a gold member. So he will get 10% till 19th order from 11th to 19th. Yeah, so that was it. And also we can check all the orders. So for using it, uh, like for the purpose of simplicity, I have added these APIs. So these all are the orders in the system along with the user IDs. Yeah. One important thing I would like to uh, explain, like if we hit, for example, create order and user is not present in the system, for example, for ID is not present. So we'll get an error. 
like uh, customer not found with a customer id 4 yeah so just keep this in mind and now let's go to the code so <coughs> i'm using mvc architecture so we don't have view but we have model we have controller and we have service layer so controller is talking to the service layer and service layer is talking to the to the repository <coughs> So uh, this is the customer controller as you can. I have also like uh, provided the hard coded APIs here. You can use it. So no need to type in the browser. So add user, find all customer discount details and all those stuff is there. Order controller also like we can create order. We can find order by ID. We can find all orders. Uh, now coming to the model, we have three models, customer, discount, detail and order. So yeah, you can check it out. Obviously, uh, no need to waste time on that. And uh, repository, I'm using Spring Data JPA. So just interface and extending the JPA repository. Now coming to the service. So service, I'm using some interfaces also because uh, I wanted to use polymorphism. Suppose, uh, suppose, uh, and uh, suppose I want some new implementation of the service layer so obviously I, I will be implementing no need to change the code and the, the test cases are present in this folder on on src main test and you can find i have a provided test for customer uh, like order controller and customer controllers few test cases just to explain that i know junit yeah and uh, um yeah let's go to the h2 console <laughs> So I want to show like uh, it's you can access it using localhost 8080 and H2 console. This is the URL. Now one important thing. Uh, so this JDBC URL is by default coming in this, but if it's not coming for your case, you have to type it out. I have provided uh, this in the readme file so you can uh, copy paste it from there. And password is no, there is no password. Default username SA, you can click on connect. So this is the database. As you can see, all the data is coming from the database. And let's hit auto table. So, so what happened? There's a problem with the query. Yeah, so these are all the tables. Yeah. So for S2 console, the important thing is you have to take care of the JDBC URL. So where is the URL? Um, you can find a help.md file. There I have provided like. Uh, yeah, this is the URL. You can just copy paste it from here. Also, it's present in the application.properties files. So yeah. Uh, and URL is obviously localhost 8080H2 console. Yeah, thank you.